master. That, but anyway, I'm, inter- I'm interested in the uh, in the in the master because uh, yeah. I just rewatched it. And uh, go go ahead and you you talk about it a little bit, Rana. Oh well, I I had to watch it twice. I I've never understood that movie, and so I just keep on watching it. And uh, on the third viewing, I'm like, and not in a bad way. I'm like, this movie is this is pretty gay. <laughs> Like, uh, I that, I, I, there's there's a possibility that is what it's because there's I a lot of debate of what this movie is about and it definitely feels similar to Brokeback. There yeah, is I feel a, like I was watching like, Brokeback. There's like a love affair throughout it. They are like lovers. It, I mean, it ends with him crying and singing, I wish I could bring you on a slow boat to China. The, which is the girl, the girl singing in the beginning. I feel like, I mean, if it's not gay, why'd I jack off to it? That's my uh, that's my proof, you know. But, no, uh, it does feel. I mean, even the only sexual moment we have is Philip Seymour Hoffman getting just a, a stand-up angry handjob from his wife, and they do seem to connect more than any other two characters. And there's hugging, and there's love, and they well, can't be together. Well, even the handjob, she's like, she's jacking him off, and she goes, "You need to stop with this." And I feel like she's talking about him being gay. She's like literally saying it. Um, yeah, no, I think it, it's funny that I've watched this movie three times and by the end I'm just like fucking gay. <laughs> like, like that's like that. Well, that's, but, there's certainly, I mean, he has not all there is to it. But. No, there's, there's much more to it. And I'm not just saying, oh, they're gay, but like certainly PT Anderson has to be aware that there is homoerotic tones to it between these two characters. And they talk about how much they I feel I like mean, it's such a, this is like, uh, I guess to me that's. That's a very old world view of it. In other words, back when everything was, uh, whatever, back when everything was uh, the word that everybody uses, heteronormative. Right. Uh, anything that there is like, a, you raise a little faint air of something, but it, it, then it became important that there was homoerotic right. tones to it. Like there's a, there's a, um, there's a movie with, uh, what's his name? Fuck, I don't remember. His, oh, Elliot Gould is in a movie where he's in college, and his uh, his college professors are trying to. He's doing his like oral thesis on mm-hmm. F. Scott Fitzgerald, and they're trying to say that uh, Fitzgerald was gay because of the love between uh, the two characters in uh, the Great Gatsby, the the the, the narrator and Gatsby. And that, and he's saying, why do you have to do that? What is, it's just great literature. What are you doing? It's like, yeah, there's like all kinds of, but saying homoerotic is like saying there's chemistry between a man and a woman in a movie. It's, it's, it's insignificant. I mean, the movie is a fucking mess of uh, energy and feeling and uh, love and deranged uh, sadism and, Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the guy's ma- making gasoline potions and poisoning people. It's fucking insane. I've never seen anything like it. That movie is it's mystifying. I, I love it. I love it. I could never watch it a third time. I've watched it twice in my life. I'm saving the third time for my 70s, mm-hmm. I guess. I don't want to ever not really like it. You see the gay shit the third time. I'm telling you. The third That's time, really it really, really, it's like by the I mean, fourth time, it's a gay porn, I'm pretty sure. It's like so a like, strange love, but it doesn't. It's a love, me, it's it's a like, love affair, it, though. It's a love affair, for sure. but it's not, it's it, it's strangely asexual and, and multi-sexual or something. It just goes so much further than like, yeah, oh, yeah, I think yeah, there's yeah. some gay going on, is these guys, it's like a love affair between a block of ice and a, a hyena. It's like, yes. why are they connected? It makes Which is a no type sense. of porn. Um, why is this guy fucking uh, interested in this? This this weird, What made him raise him out of nothing? A fucking right. a castaway on his ship and he drinks. And why isn't this drink killing him? <laughs> and why are they able to share this? They are the only two that can drink this poison without it uh, killing them. And and then the insane, he has this really dangerous psycho amongst these, but it's somehow it's keeping him honest in his uh, pathological uh, uh, exploitation of all these fucking idiots on the ship. This, and he's L. Ron Hubbard, and then he's naked in a in a. Uh, he starts dancing only from the view of yeah. That when he, when only Joaquin Phoenix sees that he's naked, and everybody else sees that he's wearing clothes. No, it's the other way. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's dressed. The women are all naked. Isn't he naked at one point? Yeah. No, oh, no he's gay. closed it. Yeah, I think you're okay. 
talked about it. Because uh... I remember him being naked. That's how I remember. <laughs> no, Is he never they're naked? All, no, they're all all the way. It's very weird. Too. He's looking at them, and Walking Phoenix imagines all the women naked. Right. Not him. No, not him. He's fully clothed, singing. And I, I thought I remember roving. Yes. He's well, singing and then he's pulling on his ear and nose at the same time. It's very strange. By the way, during that scene, my Sarah and I saw that in the theater and there was a, a black couple sitting behind us. And then that scene where everyone got naked and he was dancing, they went, oh, fuck this. <laughs> and they got up <laughs> and very loudly. You could t- and th- and that, that's like an hour and a half into the movie. Like they hung on and hung on and hung on and finally just were like, fuck this. That and, movie uh, is so gorgeous and every scene has its own game to it. Every scene is its own movie. Yeah. And sure. like the, the 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 scene where he, with the motorcycle in the middle of the desert. What the fuck are we doing there? And I don't know. Look, some the thing with movies like this is sometimes they get you and you're on board and and when they don't, I'm with that couple. Fuck this. That was me with the rain of frogs in the fucking Magnolia. Magnolia. So right. Like fuck right. this because it didn't get me. And it's just be- it's a very personal thing. But when he's, we're this close on a fucking anamorphic fucking, you know, lens, beautiful shot of his face watching the guy take off on the motorcycle forever and ever and ever. And we're just watching his face change when he's realizing, I should, uh, he's not coming back. It's <laughs> such a strange scene. And I was like this, like I couldn't, I, I that, that movie just washed over me.